Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to jump right into it. So with last Thursday's Miami Dolphins victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars, the team continues to show significant improvement week over week. We started to see a lot of the units coming together. First, the offense. It was clicking from the first snap of the game. They slowed down a little in the second half, but that could be because the Jaguars made some halftime adjustments. Defense was also clicking. They racked up a total of four sacks during the game while also collecting an interception and collecting a forced fumble at an important time towards the end of the game. Special teams has also been special. Matt Hawk, he got his uh, punt to the four-yard line. Uh, I'm sorry, to the three-yard line. And uh, Jason Sanders was perfect four for four on extra points, and he had one field goal as well. Um, last week, we talked about how the offensive line has grown leaps and bounds, which continued in the Jaguars game. However, the defensive line has also continued to improve. The line totaled eight sacks through the first three games so far this season. And last season, through three games, they had only four sacks. So they've already doubled their production from last year. Also, Christian Wilkins, the Dolphins' 2019 first-round pick, he leads all interior defensive linemen through three weeks with a 61% run-stop win rate, which is very positive. And then also the defense held the Jags to 72 rushing yards, which is the best running uh, defense that they've shown all season. So a lot of positives there. On to this Sunday with the when they host the Seattle Seahawks. Based on what we've seen, the Seahawks have an amazing offense, but there's a couple of points that I can make. First of all, West Coast teams tend to have it rough when they head to the East Coast for a 1 o'clock game. Temperature in Miami is going to be in the upper 80s, lower 90s. It's going to lead to some important conditioning questions. Seahawks are dealing with some significant injuries with a total of eight players questionable, including Chris Carson, Jamal Adams, and starting right guard Damian Lewis. And then the Dolphins also have four players that are currently questionable, including Byron Jones and Tua. Um, the Seahawks defense is the worst in the league when it comes to passing yards given up, and the Dolphins have proven to be able to put up a lot of yards in the air, which is helpful. And then the Miami Dolphins also have had 10 days to prepare for this matchup. So uh, thanks, guys. Fins up. Definitely like this tweet. Um, follow me on YouTube under the Big E page, and uh, see you next week. Thanks, guys. Fins up.